Hello viewers, welcome to another special video. This video about the HP Vectra VL600 computer. There it is. It's now running Windows 7. This video request by Dell 0304 wanted to see Windows 7 running on an old computer. This computer was manufactured around 2000. If I'm correct, I'll look it up. There's the sticker for it, serial number. Field 600 P3 600. Well, upgraded the processor to a 733. Manufacturing date should be inside somewhere. I mean, I saw it before. So hold on for me to find it. Right, had to, uh, that was a bit of a cut there. But, um,. Yeah, I found a date stamp inside somewhere. Can't show you that. It's manufactured on the 2nd of January 2000, so it's quite old. It was designed for Microsoft Windows 2000. For some reason, no, no hold on, no, it was made for NT4 and Windows 98, second edition. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, it's running Windows 7, as I said. So, I'll just power it on. As you can hear, it's very quiet. That's because the whole system is passively cooled. There's only one fan, that's a power supply fan. And there is... the boot screen. Whoops. Intel Pentium 3, 7.3EB MHz. It's counting the RAM. As you can see, this is going to take a while since it, have, since it has 512 megabytes of memory now. It originally came with 256, but that wouldn't boot. So it's going to count till 511. And done. It's going to boot into Windows. So, as I said, it now has 512 megabytes of memory. This computer has RD RAM, which is very hard to get hold of and very expensive. These are two sticks of 128 megabytes. New, they cost about 50, about 50 bucks a piece, which is very expensive for just RAM modules. So this is the difference if you look at it from DDR memory. DDR2 and DDR3 are basically the same idea. See? Our DRAM comes by default with a memory cooler. That's because our DRAM has a RAM bus on the memory chip. So it runs quite a bit hotter. Because all the calculations have to be done in that RAM bus chip. They do run on higher speeds than conventional SD RAM memory. It's not dual channel or dual data rate, it's single data rate. And, well, I can't show you that because my camera won't focus on small things. Sorry about that, but you already know that. Um, so this is a 128 megabyte RIM, RAM bus inline memory module. These run at 700 megahertz. And now I have two sticks of 256 of Samsung. They run at 800 megahertz. And there is the ASUS EPC I showed you earlier. So there we are. It's booted up on my nice day with CRT monitor. Mm -hmm. It has booted up. And well, the wireless card is working. So it's well, let's open up my system properties. Is Windows 7 Home Premium? Uh, sorry about that. But we'll zoom that in just a little bit. Put that full screen. Right, it's where the monitor goes wrong. So I found out if I lower the contrast. Lower the brightness in this case. This is quite a is quite hard recording a CRT. This is 
the best it's going to be it's going to get. I'm afraid. So the weirdest experience insect in <clears throat> index, not insects. Like what the hell? Says my computer scores a whopping one point one. Hell yeah. Processor scores one point one. Memory one point six. Graphics for Arrow 2.0, Gaming 2.5, Hard Disk 4.3, because it's ATA 66. So, yeah. It's a Pentium 3 running at 733 MHz. Windows 7 at X is as a X86 Family 6 Model 8 Stepping 3. Right. Through 2 bit Windows. Registered to me. Sort of. The only thing that I couldn't get working on this was um, the sound driver. There is no driver update available, it simply doesn't work. So, well, I'm not going to keep this OS anyway. I'm going to put Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 on it. And like that, it runs just like crazy fast. So that's what I'm going to do next. But this was a video request by Dell 304, just to see how Windows 7 would run on a computer built around 2000. Well, as you can see, it just runs. Well, yeah, that's basically it. It runs. It's slow as heck. But I did get Arrow working. If I turn Arrow off, it's still not that fast. So I really recommend a much faster processor to run Windows 7. Memory, 512 megabytes seem to be sufficient to run most applications. But if you start multitasking, you're going to hit the memory ceiling quite fast. So let's go to the Tabs Manager, see how many resources we're actually using right now. Right, can't even do that apparently. Tabs Manager, there we go. Processor is a, con is a continuous, 100%. For what? Trusted installer. I'm not installing anything, so close that up. Now it's lower. Memory is around 330 megabytes of use, so it's quite low. CPU usage is. I haven't seen it beneath 50% yet, so very high. Well, now to come, I'm just going to try to turn arrow off. Switch to Win 7 Basic. See if that helped a bit. Well, as a matter of fact, it did. It's actually hovering around... Well, 6 to 70%. Uh, 2 to 70%, whatever. I do notice a small speed increase, but... No, it's not really enough to go around. I mean, you can't even open my C drive at the moment. So, I would just suggest to, for old computers, stick to OS that we're designed for. I might just make this a Windows 7, I mean Windows XP Service Pack 1 machine. I mean like, Service Pack 2 and Service Pack 3 and that stuff. Nah. It's like meh. I prefer Windows, uh, <coughs> I prefer Service Pack 1 over Service Pack uh, 3. Not over Service Pack 2 though, but I don't need a supported operating system for this computer since I'm not it's not going to be connected 24/7 anyway. Do have it connected to a wireless network? That's just because I want internet on all my computers. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching. Because the next thing I'm going to do with this install Windows 2000.